Well, I'm joined now by Dr. Maria Carvalho, who is an expert in climate policy. Thank you very much for coming in. Um, this sounds initially like a good thing, but there are clearly worries about it. What's your opinion? So it's a good thing in terms of the carbon capture and storage technology. Now, across all the reports, international reports by scientists, carbon capture and storage technology is a very necessary component to making sure we meet our Paris targets of 1.5 degrees centigrade or 2 degrees. And you can't avoid it. So, but this is a pilot facility that actually shows the technological viability of enabling this and how you can get the stored carbon to be used for other products. Also, it's very interesting because it's actually using our organic solvent, which will will then actually reduce the environmental toxicity and the in energy intensity of CCS itself. But what it does not mean at all is, is that we can then take every coal power and natural gas plant and convert it to bioenergy with Why CCS. Not? Why not? Just the scale. Exactly what was said before is, is that what could be done is using the residue from timber and sustainable forestry to do that. But that's not the equivalent of making sure that this becomes a dri driver for deforestation because forests actually are our best sink next to oceans and other natural based sources. So making sure that you enable the environmental integrity of forests is also very important for di biodiversity and also for preventing topsoil erosion or even landslides, which we've seen tragically in many places around the world, which has allowed for deforestation to occur. So a carbon storage, capture and storage, and then the reuse of that is to be welcomed. Uh, the issue then is how to do that in a sustainable way. Exactly. And how to do that in a sustainable way then? Well, one of the things that's interesting, again, about Drax is, is that carbon capture and storage is extremely expensive. Um, there's only 23 large scale uh, plants that are either implemented or going to be constructed. This is going to be about 37 million tons of CO2, which will be important for reducing our emissions, but it's still so expensive. So what should be taken from Drax is, is that it's an important learning facility in order to bring the cost of CCS down. But in terms of also looking at how to source your biomass and bioenergy in such a way from sustainable timber, creating the supply chains of that is really important that is necessary but beyond that actually converting everything uh, every coal power and natural gas into a biomass plant is not the solution to go so i get the impression that we are at the start the very start of what will be a very important technology but it's just the beginning exactly i mean we've been talking about carbon capture and storage for years and if not decades and yet it has been so expensive to bring down and there have been many times even the uk government has tried to put up at least a billion dollar grants and it has never been enough to get the private sector to actually engage with this so this kind of short-term pilot facility is very important it is something that in terms of the UK, most of its power, coal power stations are actually going to be, uh, well, basically decommissioned by 2025. But the lessons learned from Drax can be exported to other countries in terms of, like I said, sustainable sourcing of timber residues, learning how to convert your coal plants into bioenergy, and then enabling the capture storage technologies. Okay, really interesting. Thank you Thank so you much. much. Maria Carvalho there.